What's up guys and welcome back to One Life Cars. Join me today just in front of the Ford Focus Mark II for a quick tutorial on how to remove and replace your steering wheel and airbag. Fairly simple job but something that you could do with getting right as you don't want the airbag going off in your face. So I'll get straight into the video, not mess about. And the first thing you want to do is get your bonnet open and get the battery disconnected. That is number one job before we touch anything. So quick show you how to do that if you don't already know. And then we'll get in the passenger in the driver's side. Well, you can do it from the passenger side if you want, but it's easier if you sat facing it. Put the seat all the way back so you've got a bit of room to move about. And we'll crack on and I'll show you guys how to remove and replace the airbag and the steering wheel on the Ford Focus Mark II. Let's go. Right, guys, let's get crack on with it. So the first thing you've got to do is open your bonnet, which means putting the key into it all behind the badge if you don't already know this. Turn it one way to the left to unclip it, and you turn it to the right and lift the bonnet at the same time. Now we're going to get the bonnet open and look at disconnecting the uh, Once you're under the bonnet, have a look at this plastic flap here. See this on the right? So if you're looking at the whole sort of engine, right hand side of your engine bay, plastic flap here, pull that off one way or another, and for what it's worth today, just literally disconnect one of the terminals using a 10 mil spanner or socket. Dead simple. Lift it like that. <clears throat> Undo it. And pull the terminal off. Now your battery's disconnected and your airbag's not going to go off in your face. Right guys, I'll join you inside the cab on the driver's side. I'll show you how to get this steering wheel and airbag off. Let's go. So we have a steering wheel, as you can see in front of us. So just to sort of go through it, you've got your steering wheel itself and you've got this front section where the airbag is, it says it uh, And this is the bit that obviously comes out uh, to get to the bolt for the steering wheel so you can take the actual steering wheel bit off. So think of it in two parts, you've got this middle part and then the main housing bit and obviously the back of it. So we need to get this off. Uh, most steering wheels, or if not every steering wheel, have some sort of clip behind them to get at. And on these, it's a case of getting literally behind the steering wheel with a little flat screwdriver to knock the clips to unclip this. So to get to that, we need to get this sort of plastic trim out of the way back here. But don't worry, it's very, very simple, even though it looks all tucked away. So, stick your key in the ignition, turn the steering wheel lock off, and you want to turn the wheel about halfway like that. So you can get to, well this one's already out, these little tabs here, see this plastic bit that your ind indicator stalks go into? There'll be a little tab there, stick a flat screwdriver in it, unclip it, and there'll be one on the other side. This has obviously been off before, because that come out far too easily. And then it's connected to a bit of leather, and then another plastic trim at the back here, which just unclips, you literally just pull it off like so, and then you'll end up with all this bit here. And obviously it's got that lever bit in the middle so it can move with the steering column when you do the adjustment. So, get that off and out of the way. That's just actually basically a plastic cover, there's nothing to that. And now, you can get to the back of your steering wheel. This is the awkward bit, not so much to do, but to film and show you guys. Because in the back of the wheel, there's a little tab somewhere, and I can actually see the hole to stick some in to unclip. So what I'm going to do guys now, I'm going to spend a little, couple minutes setting the camera up so I can put the camera against the speedo here facing the back so you guys can actually see what I'm doing and I'll just leave the camera static and uh, I'll, I'll get my screwdriver in and unclip it. So basically there's two holes in the back of the steering wheel that you can stick something in to release a clip uh, and then this whole, this bit comes off as one piece and this is the actual airbag it's all sealed behind this material is the airbag and on the back of all this is the wires for the airbag so if you do sort of jump ahead of me now and just sort out finding the holes yourself and unclip it now and get it straight off don't rip it out because remember the airbag wires are connected if you do something that upsets it and triggers it it's going to go off in your face you're going to end up in hospital that day so be careful guys you should be fine because the battery is disconnected in theory it needs power to go off so you should be fine but just treat it with a bit of respect it's not worth messing about so anyway 
continuing on I'll set the camera up now i'll show you unclipping these bits at the back it's all on that side and then what you do is when you've done one side turn the wheel all the way which is quite hard got no power steering obviously and find the other hole and do the other side and then you can pull the whole thing out a little bit and it's just a couple of wires that unclip it's dead simple really and then we can look at taking the actual steering wheel off but this is the important bit to do right the steering wheel is just a bolt so let's crack on and actually show you rather than talking right guys you can see me down there so you're now facing where my instrument cluster is back at the back of the steering wheel so I'm turning it a little bit here and you'll see a little slot like that so the lighting's not the best yeah it's got a groove in too so there's basically a metal wire that runs right round the inside right round the steering wheel on the back here when you put your screwdriver in you sort of just prise in the wire out the way so if we have a look at this first slot here so imagine i'm gonna stick my screwdriver in there and you can actually feel each side of the wire so it's just a case of getting it in and prising it out and then going to the next one it's a bit fiddly but once you find it you'll feel it it's a bit fiddly but what you have to do guys right, I've looked from this angle now while I actually do it Right, we've got it popped out, as you can see here. I found it a lot easier, guys, to stand where I'm stood now. So you sort of stand outside and lean in, you can you can find the clip a lot better. That was about 10 times easier than it was sat here before. So yeah, I definitely recommend standing outside and sort of leaning in. And you literally, you sort of feel the bar. Yeah, we can look at it now as well. So this white bar here, this is what you get in the screwdriver behind. So you literally just, rather than ramming it in and trying to force it in, if you just put it in dead gently and feel the bar at the end of the screwdriver, just give it the tiniest little flick. As soon as you flick it, it pops up. You don't actually have to put any force on it. It's one of them things you can make a lot harder for yourself trying to force it. It's just a little flick and it comes undone. As you can see, this bar sort of just squeezes in. Right, so this is the airbag connection bit. This is the bit we all love undoing it. Uh, there's not much to it, dead basic little clip there that you're just going to squeeze and pull out like so and then you can pull the earth out too all I can say with this is just do it gently don't bang it about, don't force it, don't light your light or if you smoke near it just beats us i'm probably being over the top and being a bit paranoid but at the end of the day if it goes off it's going to do a lot of damage so just be careful get that clip out get your earth out i might need two hands for this and then put that out the way to one side you know completely out the way of what you're doing so you don't accidentally stand on it anything like that again i don't think they can just go off like that but i'm not sure so be careful So I'll get this disconnected and then we'll look at the steering wheel itself. Right guys, so if you're just changing the airbag, say if you've got a faulty airbag, uh, or maybe the front of this is damaged and you just want it to look better so you've got a new unit. Uh, at this point now, we can look at putting it back in. So stick your earth back on like so. Uh, make sure it's earth first. I think that's the right way around. And then you can stick your power supply in. Dead simple. It literally just plonks in like so and clips down should I get enough wire to do it there we go and that's the airbag reconnected and to put it back in it is as simple as it looks you're just going to line it all up and gently 
push on it. And that's that guys, that's your airbag replaced, reconnected. And now at this point you can go and turn your battery back on and reset everything in your car, your radio, your clocks, any presets you've got, if you've got electric seats and stuff. Because it's great and every time you pull the battery out. But guys, anyway, I've waffled on a bit in this video. I've just tried to show you and explain it best you can because it can seem really hard, but it's not, honestly. Just persevere with it. And that is how to remove and replace the airbag on the Mark II Ford Focus. And also, it's the first step of changing the steering wheel. I'm going to do a separate steering wheel video and just link it back to this for the airbag bit because there's a couple more bits to you that and I don't want to get too involved in this video just going forever so that's how to remove and place the airbag if you're looking to do the full steering wheel job i'll make sure there's a link on your screen top right and in the description around now straight to the uh, steering wheel bit so you can carry on and i won't waste your time i'm not going to go through all this again the steering wheel one would be just the steering wheel so i hope you found this video useful if you did give it a thumbs up if you're new around here my name's sam clark you're watching one life cars if you like what you see Maybe you want to request your own car tutorial. Let me know in the comments below and hit that subscribe button. But until next time, guys, take it easy and peace.